Google Flights is one of the most popular websites for finding flight tickets, but most people don't know what it is truly capable of. In today's video, I will be running through the top 10 most useful but little known features of Google Flights that you can try the next time you go to book a flight ticket. The first thing that I love about Google Flights is that it's going to tell you exactly what is and what isn't included in the price of your ticket. This can be especially useful when searching for flights with budget airlines, as they often have low base fares but then charge extra for luggage, sometimes even more than the actual cost of the flight ticket. It's also going to show you upfront that some of the major airlines like United don't even include a carry-on bag in their base economy fare. After conducting a search, click on the flight and scroll down to see what's included. In addition to whether or not luggage is going to be included, it's going to give you details on things like if you can earn points and miles from the flight, what the refund or change policy is, and even if you can select your seat for free. Another cool feature of Google Flights is that it tells you the exact aircraft that you will be flying on as well as what you can expect while on board. You'll be able to see everything, including whether or not Wi-Fi will be available, if you have a personal entertainment device, and even how much legroom you can expect. Fun fact, Southwest and JetBlue are the airlines that tend to have the most legroom, while Spirit, Ryanair, and Frontier have the least. Let us know down in the comments if you have a particular airline that you prefer to fly with. I personally like Delta. Google Flights is also way smarter than you think, and this next feature proves it. If you watched last week's video on the five ways I use Google Flights to find the best deals, then you already know that you can search multiple airports or even an entire city, rather than specifying the airport or the city. But what took me quite a while to find out was that you could even search for an entire country or even an entire continent. The search capabilities are so advanced that you could type in West Coast of North America and it's going to come up with all the options for you. Google Flights can also be leveraged to help you maximize the miles and points that you earn with an airline. It allows you to filter search results to show options with specific airlines that you are already collecting them with. This is also helpful if you have accumulated points and want to see what options are available for you to actually use those existing points. For example, if you had 50,000 Delta Sky Miles to use, you can filter the results so that you only see flights with Delta. In addition, Google Flights can filter by Airline Alliance. Most major airlines are part of an airline alliance, such as Star Alliance or One World. You can use points with any airline to book a flight on any other airline that is within the alliance. Another great Google Flights feature that doesn't get enough love is the ability to filter when you fly out of or when you fly into your destination, or both. I personally use this feature all the time to filter my flight's arrival time to the evening at my destination. This is how I avoid jet lag as it helps me stay on a consistent sleep schedule. It's also helpful to filter your flight results if you know that you have to wait until you finish work to actually fly out, or if you have to arrive at the destination by a certain time for an event. Google Flights can also give you recommendations specific to your trip as if you were speaking with an actual travel agent. One way it does this is by showing you the price history for your flight route and giving you recommendations on when you should purchase the ticket. It will tell you if the prices are currently high, typical, or low. And then even if the prices are high, it can look at the trends and the history and recommend whether you should still be booking it now because prices are likely to only increase. Google Flights also dives into the history of specific flight routes and is going to give you recommendations based on whether or not there will be an expected delay. Simply click the drop down arrow on the flight and it's going to indicate in red font whether or not the flight is frequently delayed as well as by how much it is often delayed. This might influence how short of a connection time you book or even give you the heads up so you can prepare to arrive later than the estimated arrival time listed since you know it is often delayed. It is every traveler's dream to be upgraded on a flight and Google Flights has a feature that can potentially help you do it while also saving you money. You might find that an economy ticket with one airline is more expensive than a premium economy ticket with another airline. Google Flights will search deals across all fare classes from basic economy to first class 
to find you the best prices. You may also not know that you can customize the currency and the language that you are searching in. This is so useful if you are not in your home country and you end up seeing prices in the local currency and then having no idea how much the flight actually will cost you. Simply scroll to the bottom and you'll be able to set the country, language, and currency. Another helpful tool that you have probably seen but maybe never used would be the track prices feature. By enabling track prices, you will get an email anytime prices for the flight route that you are searching increases or decreases. This is a great way to be notified and be able to jump on limited time offers without having to sit on Google Flights all week, continuously refreshing the page and looking for a cheaper price. Beside the track prices, you can also toggle on any dates, which is fantastic if you are flexible on when you will travel since it's going to notify you of deals for your route for all upcoming dates. These features, as well as the overall ease of use, are what make Google Flights the best free tool to look for flight tickets online. But it's not perfect. There are some significant drawbacks, which is why in my next video I'll be covering the major limitations that you should know if you do intend to use Google Flights. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join us back here for that video next week. Safe travels, bye.